encourage young boys into men through his organization and has turned some young kids into some of the greatest boxers in this country and continues to do so and is so much a part of the fabric of our community here in Beaver County teaching young men and putting boys uh, on the straight path to success. He is one of the top boxing trainers, as I mentioned when he was coming down the stairway tonight, one of the top boxing trainers in all of the fight game. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Tom Yankello. your support. I want to thank Larry Ziggurell for nominating me, Don Sheffield for all his assistance through the process, and the rest of the Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame committee for this distinction. I feel very honored to be inducted into the Beaver County Sports Hall of Fame, which I've been preceded by so many great inductees. And I want to congratulate the rest of the class of 2013 it's an honor to be inducted with so many great people. You know, for me, this all started when I was five years old. When I watched the movie Rocky. Slot did something to me. <laughs> and uh, as my interest grew for boxing, my dad transformed our basement into a boxing gym for me. And I spent a lot of my childhood in that basement training. And I feel very fortunate to be able to do the first thing that I ever loved as, as a kid in my life here. That's I mean, it's, it makes the world go round. It's the first thing that you ever loved, and this is what you're doing with your life. Well, I had four shoulder surgeries and derailed my dream of being a professional boxer. I was able to take the love and the knowledge that I have for the sport and do what I felt was the next best thing, and that's become a coach. And I've had many great experiences through coaching. From coaching the most novice of fighters, coaching one who's arguably the greatest boxer in the history of the sport. And I've enjoyed coaching amateur boxers to state and national championships as well as the Olympic trials, professional boxers to world championships. Including fighting for the most boxing's most prestigious title, the heavyweight championship of the world at the historic Madison Square Garden. There was nothing like that. And um, it's been a thrill to work with so many gifted athletes, including the ones that I'm working with right now, and I expect great things from them. Um, there is one fighter that I do want to recognize. He was my first fighter, he was my first champion, and he was a guy that was like a brother to me, Scott McCracken. He passed away a couple of years ago, and I truly miss him. When I began coaching, little did I know how much the sport would teach me about life. Boxing is a brutal sport, not just physically, but mentally too. To survive and be successful, I've had to learn to deal with a lot of uncertainty, because nothing is perfect. And boxing is talking that the quality that true, the true essence of happiness is the quality of our thoughts and the ability to be able to enjoy the moment. And uh, that's what I'm working on every day with my athletes. We, we try to really work on enjoying the moment and striving to be the best that we can be at the same time. But, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a gift and it's, a, it's an art form. But um, at this time, I'd like to thank some people. First and foremost, I want to thank my mom and my dad. They gave me the opportunity to live at home for all those post-high school years to pursue my dream. <laughs> Next, I would like to thank my brother, Mark. Over the past decade, he has dedicated so much of his time helping to advance the careers of him and my family. Promoted boxing shows, as well as many other components of the boxing business. 
and it is a very complex business. And uh, I would also like to recognize my uncle Mike. He was a boxer, and when I was growing up, he had a lot of videos of old-time fighters, and he let me watch them, and I, and I really, it really helped me become a true student of the game, because I watched them over and over and over and over and over, and over again, and I always believed that the guys from the 1950s, from the turn of the century, were the guys that really taught the guys that are fighting today the real true fundamentals and the technique of the game. And those guys are the guys that are I mean, to this day, I think are the greatest fighters I've ever lived. And I want to recognize my grandfather, Charles Valacorsa, who passed away last year. He was a boxer, and hearing his stories as I grew up really influenced me. And uh, I want to thank all my friends and assistants and the people that have helped me throughout my career. I want to say thank you. And I would like to recognize some guys that have come out tonight to show their support. Morgan Fitch, he's a two-time title national champion, and he's 12 and 0 as a professional. Uh, Jared Boyer, who is, uh, I trained Jared for a long time, and now he's actually an assistant of mine in the gym. He does a tremendous job. And uh, Howard Stroman. Josh Hamaker, they they do an amazing job with all the film production and photos for my gym. And I believe I have two standout amateurs that I think you guys are going to hear from. And I believe they have a good opportunity on making the 2016 Olymp Olympic Games. And that's C.C. Clark and Keontae Irvin. best prospects I probably have ever worked with. They are some real raw talent and young kids, 19 and 20 years old. So I'm looking forward to working with them. Um, and last but not least, I want to thank my wife, Tina. For all the help and support she has given me. And I want to thank her for giving me the greatest gift of my life, which was the birth of our son. And he was born on my birthday, of all things. So we have the same birthday. Yeah. How I live my life now has taken on so much more meaning because I want to teach my son by example to always chase his dreams and to strive to be the best that he can be. And I want him to know that whatever his dreams are, while he's going to encounter some obstacles, if he keeps his vision on what's important, dreams can come true. I want to thank you all for coming out and making this an unforgettable night. Thank you. It is not hard to cheer for these people up here at the front table, is it? Wow, good stuff. We have some closing remarks.